हेलो नाउ वी सॉल्व द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.5 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस दीस फिगर्स इन रुपीस यूजिंग डेसिमल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस द सिंपलेस्ट वे इज दैट वी नो दैट 1 रुपी इज इक्वल्स टू 100 पैसा देयरफॉर 1 पैसा विल बी इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच दैट विल बी 1 अपॉन 100 rupee now this is equals to 1 paisa means 1 upon 100 rupees so now 7 paisa will be 7 upon 100 rupees and that will be 0.07 rupees now now we'll say that the answer that we have given is correct or not so the simplest way is that to remember this question is when we have to convert smaller quantity into greater quantity then we always divide and we have when we have to convert greater quantity into smaller quantity We have to multiply. Now, why we have to do this? Do this because if we are having a smaller quantity and we are converting it in greater quantity, then the greater quantity will be less than the smaller quantity, and in division, the term will be the term that will come will be lesser. Now, when we have to convert a greater quantity in smaller quantity, then we multiply because. a greater quantity when converted into smaller quantity will become a bit greater supposingly if we are having 1 km and we have to convert it in meters so that will be 1000 meter you all know so here in this one we have multiplied 1 with 1000 and that's why it has given us 1000 meter so here also we will follow the same thing it was in paisa And we have converted it in rupee, so we we'll divide it in by hundred. So I'm writing it here. When paisa is converted into rupee, then divide by hundred. D means divide. And when rupees are to be converted in paise, then we have to multiply with hundred. Now we'll check that the answer that we have given is correct or not. So it is in rupee. We have to convert it in paise. And we'll multiply it with hundred. Point will be shifted two times right hand side, and that will give us seven paise. Now in this one, seven is already in rupees, so we'll check for this. And we all know that we have solved here. Seven paise is equals to zero point zero seven rupees. So that will be equals to zero point zero seven rupees. And seven rupees were always there, so it will be. And now we'll add them. It will give us seven point zero seven rupees. And now the third part. We we'll keep this seventy seven rupees as it is, and we'll convert this seventy seven paise in rupees. So seventy seven paise will give us seventy seven by hundred rupee, and that will be zero point seven seven rupees. And we already had seventy-seven rupees, so we'll add them, and it will give us seventy-seven point seven seven rupees. Now in this one, it is in paise. We have to convert it in rupee. So as I told you, we'll divide it with hundred. This will be cancelled out, and it will give us zero point five rupee. And in the last part. We'll again divide this 235 by 100. Point will be shifted two times left hand side, and it will give us 2.35 rupee. This is how you can solve these type of questions by using the simplest technique. By that is, when paisa is to be converted in rupee, we'll divide by 100, and when rupee is to be converted in paisa, we'll multiply it with 100. So, for any queries or doubts, you can kindly contact us on our YouTube channel, True Maths, and you can follow us there. So, this is how you can solve this type of question. Thank you.